The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain how to evict a tenant in Illinois. First, let's talk about what notice is required uh, for an eviction. So first thing to understand is you can't just file an eviction complaint. You first have to give the tenant notice of eviction. And the duration of the notice depends on the reason for the eviction. So a five-day notice is required if the eviction is for failure to pay rent. The tenant will then have five days after service of the notice to pay the past due rent um, before the landlord can start eviction proceedings. A 10-day notice is required if the eviction is based on a violation of the lease other than payment of rent. The tenant will then have 10 days to vacate the premises before the landlord can begin eviction. A 30-day notice is required for the termination of a month-to-month lease um, if the termination reason is something other than non-payment of rent or violation of the lease terms. So once you've drafted the eviction notice, how do you serve it? It can be served in one of three ways. One is by hand delivery, uh, another is by certified mail return receipt requested, a third is by posting the notice on the door of the property. Whoever actually serves the notice is going to have to fill out an affidavit certifying that the notice was properly served. Once the notice has been served, if the tenant fails to vacate the property, you then, after the expiration of the time period for the notice, can start eviction proceedings. And this is done by filing a complaint and summons with the appropriate county circuit court. Um, a complaint will state the alleg- allegations that give rise to the eviction, and the summons is basically a notice of the hearing date for the eviction that you deliver to the tenant. When you go to file the complaint and summons, the court will file stamp both of them and give you a hearing date and location that will be included in the summons. And then you can serve the summons and the complaint uh, upon the tenant. This has to be done by personal service. This is usually done through a sheriff or a special process server. It can also be done by uh, certified mail restricted delivery. If you properly serve the tenant, you can then go to the hearing. Uh, you go to the hearing either way, but the hearing will be continued until the tenant is properly served. Uh, so let's talk about what to expect at the hearing. At the hearing, if you're the landlord, the burden is on you to show that the tenant has been served both with the notice and with the complaint and summons and that service was proper. And then you also have to show, prove up the basis for uh, the eviction. So you have to prove that rent wasn't paid or prove that the lease was violated. Uh, if, If you can prove these two things, the judge will enter an order requiring the tenant to vacate the property, typically within 14 to 21 days. If the tenant fails to vacate the property, you should notify the sheriff, and the sheriff will forcibly remove them. So that's what you need to know about the eviction process. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and YouTube. And that's helpful to us, and you'll also be notified of our daily article and video posts. You can also subscribe to our email list at learn-about-law.com to get an email once a month with our content. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.